Welcome to Durham, the Bull City, a city that's bullish about its future. Durham's a really special community. The swagger in Durham is unique. For me, Durham is home. Yeah, good things happen in Durham. The city has this ability to punch way outside its weight class. It's the startup capital of the South. It's like gritty and it's humble, but at the same time, it's like a star and it's shining. One organization thriving in this gritty and humble city is American Underground, an innovative startup incubator with a commitment to community development. I mean, American Underground is the number one co-working tech hub, and I've been to a lot of them. American Underground, I think, is the glue for an ecosystem. I love it. I absolutely love coming to work at American Underground every day. And so when we talk about the underground, we talk about the story of Durham's renaissance. We're always keen to, to talk about what's taken place in Durham over the last hundred years and that the city really does pulse with an entrepreneurial blood and DNA. At the heart of this DNA lies their parent company, Capital Broadcasting, with a business strategy focused on holistic returns for the greater good of the city. We will tell you for certain that there's a very clear rate of return to the company of improving a community. For certain, without a doubt. What's certain is this community-focused business strategy seems unconventional, with diversity, inclusion, and longer, more patient returns for a better city. Our goal by the end of this year is to be the most diverse and inclusive tech hub in the world. The research points to diverse teams build better products and more scalable companies. Can we breed a new class of companies who are going to invest more and more in the improvement in the community and do those resources continue to provide opportunity to make sure that we're an inclusive community. We feel like that is a special sort of secret sauce that we have and again this isn't about feel good stuff this is about building better businesses with, with bigger bottom lines. It's precisely because of this secret sauce that the University of Virginia's Thriving Cities Project selected American Underground as an exemplar for this case study series. The Thriving Cities case study takes a cross-disciplinary approach, exploring what it means and takes to thrive. We examine this question through the lens of our holistic human ecology framework, consisting of six areas of human life that we call endowments. They illuminate the interconnected elements of the larger community structure and critically impact the health of the larger human ecosystem. When connected, these endowments unlock powerful relationships, opening opportunities for cooperation, collaboration, and inclusion that are ultimately greater than the sum of their parts. Unfortunately, with other conventional approaches, it's difficult to see these mutually beneficial relationships. However, the human ecology framework sheds light upon holistic possibilities for new paradigms of business. These possibilities are highlighted in the story of American Underground. I think the biggest thing that motivates us at the Underground is what does this mean for everybody in our city? How does the Underground benefit as many people as possible in our community? I've said to our team on many occasions that if at the end of the Underground we step back and all we've done is benefit the elites, benefit the people who already had access to opportunities, then we really haven't done anything. I think the opportunity here is to do something much larger. To say that I'm a software developer, to say I'm a, tech, a techie, feels great. I have a daughter who's seven, and she wants to be a developer because to her, I'm what tech looks like. For other women and minorities and little girls to look at me and be like, oh, that's what tech looks like, I want to do that too. I think that's fantastic, and it wouldn't, it wouldn't happen without the underground. Why are we bullish on the future of Durham? Because present investments are changing what tech looks like for the benefit of the entire city.